in a representative republic, the education of our children must be of the utmost importance. We must support our rights or lose our character, and with it, perhaps, our liberties. The best form of government, is that which is most likely to prevent the greatest sum of evil. The right of self-defense never ceases. It is among the most sacred, and alike necessary to nations and to individuals. There is a price tag on human liberty. That price is the willingness to assume the responsibilities of being free men. Payment of this price is a personal matter with each of us. It is better to spread trust all around than to hand out money. A free, virtuous, and enlightened people must know full well the great principles, and causes upon which their happiness depends. Our country may be likened to a new house. We lack many things, but we possess the most precious of all, liberty. The liberty, prosperity, and the happiness of our country will always be the object of my most fervent prayers, to the supreme author of all good. National honor is national property of the highest value. If it was wise, manly, and patriotic for us to establish a free government, it is equally wise to attend to the necessary means of its preservation. The earth was given to mankind to support the greatest number of which it is capable, and no tribe or people have a right to withhold from the wants of others, more than is necessary for their own support and comfort. A little flattery will support a man through great fatigue. Let us by wise and constitutional measures promote intelligence among the people, as the best means of preserving our liberties. It is only when the people become ignorant and corrupt, when they degenerate into a populace, that they are incapable of exercising their sovereignty. The payments which have been made into the treasury show the very productive state of the public revenue.